Dr. Kai Ingstad is our guest today. He's from Salem Hospital, and we're talking about all the incredible new breakthroughs in cardiac surgery. Hi, Kai. It's so Hi. nice to have you nice here. Nice to be here. So you're in robotics. Well, we're doing robotics. We're doing some minimally invasive surgery and, and applying all sorts of new technologies to heart surgery. Okay, so tell me how the robot works. Well, the robot is composed of essentially two parts. There's a console where the surgeon sits, and then there's the actual robot with the arms, which sits right next to the patient and, uh, and is controlled from the surgeon's console. And so you're, you're essentially telling the robot to do the things that you used to do, right? That's true. Yeah, um, so what, what's the benefit then? Well, the benefit is, um, number one, is the robot arms are small, so they can go in through relatively small holes. And the second thing is the visualization is incredible. There's an HD camera and there's a 3D uh, visualization that really improves your, your ability to see. And which procedures lend themselves to the robot? Well, namely, uh, mitral valve surgery is one of the big kind of uh, applications for the robot. And then some bypass surgery can also be done with the robot. And you also are talking about minimally invasive surgery. That's got to be good news for the patients. It's good news for the patient. I like to say that minimally invasive transfers the pain from the patient to the surgeon. It makes our life a little bit more difficult to do it, um, but certainly the patients reap the benefits. How so? Explain that, if you would. Well, you know, we're used to operating through a big incision and having everything right in front of us. Um, and when we do things with a minimally invasive approach, we have to do things with longer instruments and through smaller holes. And it's just technically can be a little bit more challenging. And you're, th you're threading, I'd imagine, through catheters and things like um, that? Sometimes through catheters uh -huh. and, and also just, uh, you know, using video cameras and, and long instruments. Wow. I mean, your thoughts about from where you started when you were doing your internship in cardiac surgery to where it's come today? Well, it's a fairly long, uh, a long way and the technology continues to advance um, at a pretty rapid pace. I always like to ask people who are in their fields what we can expect in 10 years. Give me an idea of if you're a patient with a heart problem in 10 years, what you would be looking at. Well, 10 years from now, I think that we're going to be doing a lot of things, um, not only minimally invasively, but through catheters. And there's a valve that's going to be available probably within the next two or three years that we can actually implant through a catheter uh, that we thread up from the groin. So Wow, so no more of those huge scars no on more people's huge chests. Scars. Yeah, that's great news. Dr. Kai Ingstad has been our guest today from Salem Hospital. Anything else that you want to add, Kai? No, I would just like to uh, you know, hope that uh, patients seek us out if they have problems and uh, know that we're not as uh, scary as uh, people make us out to be. You're not we, scary we have at all. A lot all. to offer. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you.